Kayula is the brand name for this bus, powered by solar panels on its roof. It seats 35 passengers, and its maker, Kira Motors, hopes the Kayula could become the first public bus in Africa to be powered by the sun. The engines of these electronically powered buses are completely silent, says the chief engineer of the project. With this bus, there's actually no engine. Uh, what is driving the bus is a motor, a traction motor, which has been run by uh, a battery. And the battery banks are the ones that are linked to the solar system that's on the roof. So uh, we have the batteries that are driving the motor, and that gives us a full range of uh, 8 kilometers on full charge. And then the solar panels come in to supplement the, uh, the, the extra you know, mileage. So it adds an extra 12 kilometers to the total. The Kayula bus can be recharged using solar power or connected to an electronic power source. Best of all, it doesn't emit harmful carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. The systems are fully run on uh, green energy. So things to do with uh, polluting the environment, which ultimately will affect, and that's the reason why you'd work on uh, such a product. So, because in the future, when looking at uh, sustainable and green energy, this solar-powered bus also helps save money on petrol by relying 100% on abundant, renewable sunlight. The difference between this Kayola bus, the solar bus, and these other buses is that the other ones are using fuel. This one is using batteries. But as you're driving, as you're driving, when you're accelerating, you can't tell. It's powerful like these other buses. Ugandan authorities say the Kayula bus can help solve Kampala's traffic jams. The more options, we believe it will help a lot in the issue of congestion. The price of this prototype bus is estimated at more than $140,000. If this model can be mass produced, the price will drop and will sell for around $55,000 each. However, before the Kayula bus is out on Ugandan roads, customers have to be patient. There hasn't been an official date set for its release. Salem Solomon for Marcus Magrini, BOA News.